Hello and welcome to my F1 22 manager career mode, here today for part 5 for the Miami Grand Prix. In the last episode we were in Imola and it was a pretty disappointing race there, so we are looking to turn our fortunes around as we head to the first ever Miami Grand Prix. It's a track that no one really asked for in real life and Mercedes didn't do particularly well in real life as well so we're going to be looking to get a good result out of this return ourselves back to near the top after Imola so let's go to qualifying for the start of the weekend coming into qualifying now and you can see Lewis Hamilton coming into the final corner now to complete his first lap in Q1 and hopefully we can actually get out of Q1 and not mess up no rain this time and like Imola so hopefully we can get both cars through and back into Q3 where we should be and you see that Hamilton has set a personal for the session best sector time purple sector but he was held up by a couple of cars on his lap and now this is George being held up by a Red Bull for like I keep saying that every episode but and now ahead of him we put him out in some traffic he has the Aston Martin he gets out of the way but it looks like he might meet the Williams at the apex of the final corner and indeed he does but I think the Williams is just far enough up the road that he won't get affected by the Williams and he moves up into P4 Lewis though that purple sector he's down there he needs to find a lap time two seconds off that time of Max Verstappen which isn't very good we're going to put Lewis on a fresh set of softs, we're going to put George on a used set of softs because he does seem to be pretty comfortable but we're going to take a risk I know after Imola we're not going to pit not going to send George back out and we are going to send Lewis out but unfortunately we did it again Hamilton is out in Q1 again very disappointing and now we just focus on George to try and get him up the paces there's running wide Joe Crofty getting very dramatic he barely went off the track but we're going to put George on the same set of softs so we have two sets of soft tyres new soft tyres if we do manage to get through into Q3 and he does seem to be pretty comfortable here as we left it very very late and he only just made the cut to actually do the flying lap and you can see here he's out Joe's out after that mistake Magnus and Ricardo Mick Schumacher and Yuki Tsunoda and George is safely through to Q3 so we skip on now towards the end of the session you can see he is P4 and you see everyone's improving Leclerc's a set of personal best sector the only driver not improving currently is Pierre Gasly he's done a great job to get through into Q3 but George now going to be one of the first drivers to set a lap time Bottas moves up into P4 that's good by him and now coming up to the line can George retake P4? no he stays P5 Alonso moves up into P6 Charles Leclerc puts it on pole ahead of Verstappen Verstappen down in that middle sector and I don't think he's going to be able to improve so it is going to be pole position then for Charles Leclerc for the first ever Miami Grand Prix so into the race now and we're going to be starting Lewis on the hard tyres do kind of what we did in Imola put him on the hards see how far he can take them put a set of mediums on at the end if he can take them far and then he should be absolutely rapid at the end of the race and carve his way through wherever he may be on the track in terms of George we're not doing a two stop and not making that same mistake so we're just going to do the reverse strategy of Lewis starting on mediums and going to the hard tyres let's go to the race as the sun continues to shine, it seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. And here we've got George Russell. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. 
They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. Everything's been building to this. One of the newest races in F1, and hopefully one of the most exciting too. It's the Miami Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. So we're racing now in Miami for the first time, and Charles Leclerc has covered for stopping off. And you can see Bottas there in the background, going wheel to wheel with Perez. George, what are you doing? Can you, can you notice him, son? He's nowhere to be seen at the start. He's had a poor start there. Lewis is getting the place towards the back. It's now there, you can see him. He's all over the back of Alex Albon in the other Williams, and now onto that back straight and he's practically pushing him down the straight even without the DRS can he get the move done that Williams Williams have already had a quick car in a straight line but this Mercedes is not the quickest as we're on the outside now with Lewis I should probably close the DRS bit down you can't see what's happening but Lewis is going to keep his nose in and go round the inside of Albon, great move there. He needs to clear the slower cars, the Williams and Aston Martins, as quickly as he can to put him in the hunt a for a good result in this race. We should really be targeting P5 at least. But this Mercedes shadow of what it used to be before these new regulations, so that may be hard. But he's got the run then on Lance Stroll. And he gets the job done next up, Yuki Sonoda. That's not bad, four cars cleared at the start of the Grand Prix. Yeah, Let's just leave him to it and see what he can do. Can Georgia at the other end get past Valtteri Bottas? And then possibly tackle the Red Bull of Perez because he's still there. Bottas losing out to Perez and George is kind of sitting there all nicely up front as this is for Stappen now trying to take the lead of the Miami Grand Prix because he won it in real life. Leclerc's going to force him the long way round. But here comes Max Verstappen. He'll have to take his stab with the DRS. There he goes. He opens it. Pulls to the inside. That Red Bull's too quick in a straight line. The Ferrari is defenceless. And Max Verstappen now leads the Miami Grand Prix. It's now this is George taking a bit of a DRS train. But we're trying to get it through for the DR, um, ERS modes. You can see there in the bottom right that we are telling him to push, we've told him to go aggressive, but the DRS of that Alfa Romeo, we know so far this season that Alfa Romeo have got a quick car when we look at the first episode in Bahrain and also that, that great result Bottas had in Saudi Arabia as well in part two of the career mode. But now, has he got a second run? He's going to pull out his George, but that more looks like a defence than attack. But Bottas is going to send it on Sergio Perez. And look at this George. Oh, we could have had a go then, but he's understeered. But he still might have a run now at Perez. He is going to have a run. He's on the outside. Go on, George. Do a Ricardo. But he can't. He backs out of it, could have got both of them there. And now Perez on the traction, they're side by side. And for God's sake, George. He could have got both of them then. If I was driving the car straight around the outside of both of them, he's passed both of them. But he hasn't got either of them now. And that's very, very frustrating. But here he goes again. He is going to go again at Perez. But this is Perez turning defence into attack as he goes round the outside. Old Valtteri Bottas really would have liked if George could have followed him through, but no. He clearly likes looking at the back of that Alfa Romeo. And this is Hamilton now overtaking Sebastian Vettel around the outside, turning that inside line into the outside and getting past. But now skipping back on, and now George is sort of falling back and falling back into Fernando Alonso who's just been kind of sitting here waiting for something to happen going on ahead but here he comes now Alonso 
He doesn't need a second invitation, but he's too far back to have a go at George this time. And that's really frustrating because we need him to catch back up to Bottas as there goes Hamilton round the outside now of Yuki Tsunoda. You can see Crofty commentating on it and I think he got the job done. It cut away way too early but they're clapping in the garage and that is very good for us. But now Alonso is threatening George and George is starting to fall back from the Perez Bottas fight as Bottas loses out again as he tries to overtake Perez but now this is Sonoda coming back at Hamilton and Sonoda retakes that position very very annoyingly we need Lewis to make his way through and stay ahead of these guys but now George is caught up back to the back of these two and as Bottas moves over to follow the slipstream George now maybe may have a go around the outside but he's locked up at the final corner and he's gone off the track George for God's sake what is he doing runs wide and then loses out and now he's miles behind those that pack hopefully he's still got the rubber to catch back up to him but that's very very frustrating as now we head down we are going to box George on this lap lap 29 as there's a yellow flag because Alonso has spun it at the final corner and George being blocked there but he's managed to get his way through it as that's becoming to the yellow flags it would be beautiful if there was a safety car or a virtual safety car it really saved us time in the pit stops as if you put on the hard tyres, as we said earlier, and there is a virtual safety car. And that could help us nicely. Because we've already done half our pit stop, basically. But those going down, going around at reduced speed could help us possibly get ahead of those in front. Because George did start to close a little bit back up. This is Bottas now making his stop one lap later. George now round the outside. Is he going to beat out Bottas? No, just but the virtual safety car has brought George very much back into play in this race with the Ocon up the road. He's, he's doing the same strategy as Hamilton on the one stop start and on the hard going along as well. So he should be quite easy pickings, hopefully. But can George now? overtake Bottas here. Bottas hasn't got the DRS of the Red Bull in front for once as can George now he's gonna go to the outside he's too far back though is he? I think he is he's gonna try and pull to the inside but it's too late there George and yeah he can't get the job done we're gonna have to sit there and wait and Hamilton here he's getting to the point of the race where we were thinking of boxing him and I think he should come around round about this battle between Gasly and Lando. So we're going to pit him onto the mediums and okay, with so everyone on either worn, worn mediums trying to go long or aging hards. We should be in a good position here but unfortunately I was very very wrong and he came out beyond Magnussen, Joe and then we get into the lights of Lando where I thought we were going to be you can see also we're telling George to look after his tyres but we're beating up Ricardo that is crucial and now we'll just let Lewis do what he does best and fly through hopefully he can get through as quickly as he can and it didn't take him long before he caught Joe and Magnussen and here he goes basically pushing Magnussen down the straight as he pulls to the outside Round the outside, can he go on oh, Magnussen? It looks like he might just be too far back, but he's done. What he did to Sebastian Vettel early on in the race, I think it was. And just finds the traction on the outside of that really long right-hander that's very awkward. And now, 
You'll have the DRS. Can he overtake Joe? Going down the back straight. Joe goes to cover off to the inside. Lewis stays in the tyre tracks. And he pulls out to the outside now. And he's alongside the Alfa Romeo. And now he's round the outside of the Alfa Romeo. And now he's slowly on the inside. And he overtakes the Chinese driver. And now he can get after Ocon. He's going even further in this race on the hard tyres than we've gone with Lewis. So he'll be even quicker by the end of this Grand Prix. But it hasn't taken him long to catch the Frenchman. And you can see the, the battle at the road. Down the inside goes Lewis. The Alpine's still fighting it. But it's too much. And Alonso is Alonso in fact. We've overtaken there. Because Alonso spun really taking himself out of the race earlier on and Ocon pressurising Lando as you were saying earlier Lando still has to pit and um, Ocon still has to pit rather and oh my god there's a nearly a big crash there between Hamilton and Alonso Alonso locks up and nearly wipes Hamilton off the Grand Prix how the hell was there not contact there Ocon pits and now it's a one-on-one -on -one between the two Brits as we head through the S section here comes Lewis now on the back of Lando Norris he's in the tyre tracks is he going to go inside out or at the outside he seems to love the outside during in this race and he is going to pick the outside again and he's going to breeze past the McLaren round the outside he goes wonderful stuff there and he's absolutely flying in this race now we've put him onto those tyres we're going to skip on a bit because he couldn't really get away from Lando and, and not much was really happening and there's a yellow flag and Bust Lewis is out and Lando's out what has happened and his engine's on fire Lewis that's not very good what has happened there Yellow flag is going to go into a safety car. But Lewis is out of the Miami Grand Prix. What has happened here? And he's already on fire there. A bit of a visual glitch. And now heading down into that corner. And Lando's locked up. And hit the back of Lewis. And I don't know where Lewis is going. It's like he was driving an ice there. Bouncing back across the track. But Lewis is out. Of the Miami Grand Prix, and no Lando. I don't know, I have no words. That's so frustrating because Lewis was absolutely flying after we boxed him, and he really could have got a good result out of this. But hard. now that does give Sorry. George an opportunity to push and possibly get a good result out of this. Guys, Currently defense. sitting in P5 okay. in this race, as it will be Charles Leclerc to get it going again there's a lot of lap cars between us as as George does have a look at Bottas and Sainz is in there as well we've also come out ahead of Perez as well both of us somewhere I think Perez boxed for a set of soft tyres so he's going to be quick but it's so frustrating for Lewis being down and out after that and yeah very very frustrating but it's our first big crash of career mode as Perez overtakes there Lewis Hamilton and now on to the final lap and it is going to be a win for Charles Leclerc another win he's untouchable this season by us by the looks of things he's just too good Verstappen is really gonna have to put the hammer down to keep the title fight alive this season it seems even though we're only five races in Max needs to find an up, another gear but you can see here the results and the constructors and the drivers as well Lewis has obviously fallen George has got some points back very very annoying weekend it was a very mixed weekend but on one, one side we finally got a good result George did an excellent job Lewis was on another planet until Lando decided to recreate real life but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video very dramatic was the end of the race decent race as well and i'll see you in the next one goodbye